crap. How long y'all been there? Y'all caught me taking a break. Anyway, since I have y'all here, there's all the trapping stuff. All the beaver trapping stuff, that is. It is packed away in the truck. We are done with beaver trapping for right now. Wrapped up. We wrapped up four properties. We wrapped up four properties. And we got all the stuff in the back of the truck. We gotta get that situated. But now that I'm done with that, I can focus on uh, my other little business that I have. I have an LLC that started out as a stump grinding business <clears throat> and then got into trailer rentals. So now I'm doing stump grinding and trailer rentals. We're just gonna see how it goes. So I'm out here on the stump job. This is my stump grinder, a little bandit. Bandit SG40. 40 horsepower machine. It's actually 38, I think. We'll just say 40. Cool little unit right there. So, I'm on this property clearing out some bushes. I don't have any pictures of them beforehand because I've already cut some of them down. There was one right here. Pretty sure it was an old crepe myrtle bush that a customer wanted me to cut down. And truth be told, this is my mother-in-law's house I'm doing this for. I've had this uh, machine since um, September of last year. It's so about nine months. And I'm just now getting over here to do her house. So this is my mother-in-law's house. I'm doing a little work for her. So we got this cleaned up, got that one cut down and cleaned up. Got another one over here that we got cut down and ground up. And this is another one that I've got cut down. I may throw up some pictures of what they look like beforehand. I did take pictures, I just didn't take a video. And they're not big, they were just ugly. She wanted them out of the way. So, over here doing a little doing a little stump grinding. So y'all gonna be seeing more of this hopefully now that I have some more time on my hands and not running back and forth doing stump grinding jobs. And uh, maybe I can get into more details about making money with a stump grinder, making money with a trailer rental business. If y'all follow any of my early videos, y'all know that I, I quit my uh, shift work a uh, meal job because uh, I, got, I got tired of shift work and uh, went and bought me a stump grinder, bought me a couple of trailers and just started doing that. And it, it's not as hard as you would think and you can make some pretty good money at it. So I'm sure I'll make, a, I've made one video before, the older video. But I may, I'll probably just keep making stump grind videos also. So don't get used to the trapping stuff. I'm not doing just trapping stuff. I'm doing, doing some stump grinding. And the, the city will come and pick up all this stuff. So that's the cool thing about this job. I can just drag all the trees that I cut down over here. But we're going to get back at it. I just wanted to make a quick little video. And I'll probably uh, put in a couple of little quick shots of the stump grinder running over there. And then I may talk a little bit more. Once I get back in the truck and get headed to the house. I don't know, but let's get it.
just got our last one. It's just raking everything up. Not bad. Not bad. It's not that hard, guys. Not that hard. Wouldn't take much for any of y'all to get a little set up like this. And you could be doing it on the weekend. If you were on, today's a Saturday. I came over here on Saturday. Three little stumps. And it probably took me, I don't know, 15 minutes a piece on each. I mean, it, I mean, it's more of a headache to unload it or to load it up, bring it over here and then unload it and load it back up. I mean, it's just more of a headache to do that than the actual stump. Not that bad, bad of a gig, guys. You do it on the weekend. You can literally do it in the afternoon if it's in the summertime when you get off work. If, if the job ain't too far away from you. You'll knock a few out. Not that bad. It's not big like a lot of stump grinders, but it's big enough to do some pretty good sized stumps. But trust me, there's plenty there's plenty of market for little stuff like that, what I just did. Pretty easy stuff, guys. I have a background in heavy equipment. But I mean, not like decades of it. I mean, like six, six or seven years running dozers and tractors and stuff. But I'm telling you, I mean, this it, it is easy. This is easy stuff. It's like uh, it's like a track. So this pulls you left. That pushes you right. This pulls you right. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I may have messed that up. Yeah, hard for me to. Anyways, it's on a track system, obviously. But I mean, it's it's not hard. Not hard at all. That controls uh, the cutter head, cutter wheel. So if you want to go left, you would pull that back and it stops that track or it reverses that track. So forward left, forward right, reverse left, reverse right. That's it. So not bad. Not bad at all. The maintenance ain't too bad on it. And once I do a couple other things get cleaned up, I think there's some some bushes around here. I gotta cut. Let's see here. Yeah. I think I gotta get rid of this. I gotta get rid of that. And I'm leaving like the big corner one, that and that. I think that's what I'm doing. Got to double check. One thing's for sure, you don't want to mess up on the mother-in-law's house, all houses. But if I can't pull those stumps up, I'll just uh, grind them in place. Nothing at all. Nothing to it at all. But like I was saying, I mean, my stump grinder you have some out there that are like, I don't know, like over a hundred horsepower. And I mean, they're pretty big, they're big, but they're for those, those massive trees. And you could technically do it with a small machine like that, but you your time would get ate up and you become less profitable. The longer it takes you, obviously the less profitable you are. So I don't even do big stumps. I don't even, if a customer tells me it's a big stump or it's like six foot or something like that, I don't even mess with it. Don't even mess with it. I did one really big stump one time and it took me like two hours. I don't like standing in one spot for two hours. Now, I don't mind being on the job for two hours, hitting several stumps, but It's just, it's more profitable for me to be able to hit it and go, you know? But, um, so you're, you're not as big as a lot of stumps, stump grinders in the industry, but you ain't gotta be. There is a market for, for the little stuff like this, for the uh, residential stuff. You're getting into people's backyards, a giant machine. You'll see videos on YouTube or Instagram. They'll have to be craning, hoisting, 
a uh, stump grinder over somebody's house just to get it in their backyard because it's such a tight space. This right here will fit inside of a 36 inch gate. It is thin. So most backyards you're gonna be able to get into. It's a gas machine, so you, you ain't got the expense of diesel. See so here, I've got right at 50 hours on this thing. I mean, right under 50 hours. And I've made a pretty good penny with it. And I haven't even done it full time yet. I mean, y'all see my other videos. I'm out here uh, trapping and doing uh, that main property that I work on, doing tractor work and stuff, doing that. I've been busy with this lately, you know, and it's all kind of timing itself out right because I don't like walking around in these snake infested swamps during the, the hot season. So maybe this will, this will pick up and I'll just be doing, doing this, you know, on the side, turning it into a full-time thing. My trailer rental business, it's picking up. So it, it, won't, it wouldn't take much for y'all to get into this. And we can talk more about that, about numbers and stuff. When uh, I get back in the truck and start heading to the house, but it's not, it's not bad. It's not bad. Don't think that you have to have a ton of experience doing this cause I didn't, I'd never run a stunt grinder before. Never, uh, when I bought my stump grinder, I bought my big uh, trailer. And that was the uh, the first time I'd pulled a uh, real big trailer before. So I mean, you just teach yourself pretty much. All right, let's uh, get, them, get those bushes cut down and go from there. So let's get that done. <laughs> All right, I did double check, and the only thing that's supposed to stay is that, that, and that. So we just came in here with the chainsaw and whacked it all, whacked it all down. Now we got to drag it all out to the road. I'll be honest with you, probably one of the most aggravating things that I've had to deal with so far in doing this type of work is running the chainsaw. I suck at running the chainsaw. A chainsaw will not stay sharp with me for long. Don't know what it is, but don't know what it is, but a chainsaw is a headache to me. So if I can do it, y'all can do it. Right, we're gonna start dragging this stuff to the road. All right, we got those cut down. I'm still raking up. But at least we got them cut down and looks a lot better. We're gonna get some more stuff planted in there. Not exactly sure what they want planted yet. And I think I was instructed just to cut them down. I think they're gonna call the 811 number and see if there's anything that runs along the this side of the house. So that's why I'm not gonna grind them up. I'm also Running out of time. I gotta go pick up some of my kids. Like I said I was just doing this on Saturday. And normally, I don't do hedges. I, I, I probably would if somebody really wanted me to. And I priced it and I got the job. But normally I don't do this. I just stop, grind, and uh, head out. But we're going to finish raking up, picking all this stuff up, and uh, I'll talk to y'all when we get back in the truck. All right, that's a wrap. Got everything tied down. Oh, 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 I think, uh, let me check something real quick. Yep. Don't want to forget those. Put that in my pocket. Oh my goodness, guys, I gotta clean my truck. 
Gotta clean my truck. I don't know what my lighting situation is about to turn into here because I got some really dark tint. Get this thing cranked up. Oh, get that AC pumping. Why? Oh, so I'm just getting home. Oh man, I told uh, I had in my mind that I would do the rest of that video in my truck. I wanted to go ahead and get home, and then I had the air conditioner on. Y'all couldn't see very well. There was some kind of weird glare on the phone. It might have been just bad lighting. Hey, puppy. This is Duke. He's one of three rescues. Good puppy. But um, it's real easy to get into, guys, uh, with this particular stump grinder. Uh, one thing that makes it very easy to get into is you don't have to have a bunch outside of the stump grinder to, to make this work. Um, the stump grinder only weighs about uh, uh, 1,500 pounds. So you, if you can pretty much pull that with anything. Uh, a small truck, a small SUV. I mean, you don't have to have a large vehicle. You know, like with some, he when you say you're gonna buy a heavy piece of equipment, you know, that generally means you're gonna have to have a, a decent sized vehicle to pull it. Not so with uh, this particular stump grinder. So it's very, it's cheaper to get into this. Now this particular stump grinder, it was $25,000 and uh, you can find uh, other stump grinders, different brands that are older, obviously used for less than 10, but I'm not very mechanically inclined. Uh, you may be, so that may be something that you can do is uh, to save some startup cash. But just know that you might be breaking down more and you might be more limited. I think a 40 horsepower machine like what I have is just right. And this is Lucky. That's Dixie, she just had a ton of puppies. We didn't get her fixed in time. But this is Lucky. She's another rescue. All these are rescues. Those two are brother and sisters. But she will be fixed after this. And getting her puppies fixed. We're getting her puppies some good homes. Anyways, this is my baby right here. Uh, you don't have to have anything big, to, uh, the, the stump grinder, uh, $25,000. You can find cheaper options, but they're gonna be older. They're gonna be well used. But this 40 horsepower machine, man, I mean, I think, I think, it's, I think it's just right for what I'm wanting to do. The bigger stuff I stay away from, the bigger stumps I stay away from. Seriously, the bigger stuff, stumps, I know it, you want me to rub your back. The bigger stuff I stay away from, but Oh, uh, it could technically do it. My, my dog is just being crazy. She likes to play with me. Uh, you, I mean, you could do it, but it's just going to take you longer. So I stay away from it. I try to do the small, small, medium sized jobs. Um, and you can make plenty of m money doing it. There, there's a market for, for the small stuff. So look, look into it. Look into getting a stump grinder. Ouch. Look into getting a stump grinder and you don't have to spend a ton of money to do it to start making money on the side and i have talked about how much i make with my stump grinder in an older video you can go back and look at that i guess because i don't want this video to go go too long ow why are you doing that you throw up on my head but that's it guys that's um did a couple of uh, three stumps today small stuff and um you're gonna be seeing more of that because like i said earlier i wrapped up those other videos uh not videos those other uh trapping jobs that i was doing beaver beaver jobs wrap those up so now i have more time for the stump grinding i want to show more videos of my trailer rental stuff and <laughs> there, there's no telling what all well y'all let's see but Anyways, I'm gonna wrap it up with that. I gotta get a shower and then I gotta go get some children of mine. And we'll see y'all on the next one. So y'all be good. Ah.